Okay, so for advanced mean questions, and I mean the average mean, not just difficult questions, it pays to know that actually the mean is a type of triangle, just like speed, distance, time, and density, and all those ones. So we work out the mean by doing the sum, that just means add the numbers together, over the amount of numbers. Now the reason it's helpful to know this as a triangle is sometimes in the advanced questions they will give you the mean and the amount or the mean and the sum and they'll ask you for something else. They might ask you for the amount or the sum. So with that in mind we can work out the total or the sum of the boys. So the mean of the boys is 11 and the uh, amount of the boys is 15. So we just using the triangle, we just times them together and we can work out what the sum is, or total is. So 10 times 15 is 150, add another 15, 165. Then we can work out the total of children. Same process. The mean of the children is 17. And the amount of children was 15 boys, 20, uh, sorry, 10 girls, so that's 25. And I can just do a grid. If you've got a calculator, then obviously you can use a calculator. That's 200, 14 with a 0, 50, and 35. So let's add those together, 200... 140, 50, 35, uh, for 9, 10, 11, 12, and 4. So 425. So the total of the children is 425, the total of the boys is 165. So therefore, the total of the girls. is the total total take away the boys total so 425 take away 165 so that's going to be 0 I'm going to have to borrow one off that so that's 6, 2 so that's 260 so all the girls added together is 260 but it's asked for the mean number of coins for the girls so mean of girls and we just use the standard sum over amount so we know that they add up to 260 and we know that there are 10 girls in total so that's going to be 26